Welcome back. Lieutenant Stitchy was a top tier dancehall artist with 14 number ones when he walked away from it all in 1997 in the name of Jesus. Fast forward now to 2015 and the former school teacher turned dance owner is ordained as a minister of religion, conferred with an honorary doctorate and is still as agile and lyrically potent as ever. What do you boy? Be your boy. Lieutenant Stitchy, right now on our stage. Stitchy, sir. Blessings. Blessed to have you, sir. Uh, can yes, I still call you governor? Because yeah, that's what good. I used to call it. It's good. It's, eh? it's all good. Yeah, the governor, uh, Lieutenant Stitchy. Okay. I uh, just Stitchy. In certain but circles. when when I ask what's your profession, you say? No, what is? Well, singer, songwriter, German. <laughs> 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 no, but really, I I am I, I have to give God. Thanks mm -hmm. in every way because God has caused me to be, you know, multi-talented and has given me more than one gifts. Okay. So you know, I, that explains it all. I'm a, I'm a singer. I'm a, I, I'm a producer. I'm a, I'm a writer. Okay. The list goes on. How much work is this for you? Uh, how busy are you as a pastor? Very mm -hmm. busy. You mean in, you mean operating in the rule as a pastor? As a pastor, right? No, Isn't I don't. that full time? No, but I am not. I'm just one of the pastors in a church. I'm not the pastor of the church. Okay, that's it. Because yeah. I wanted to ask you if there's a church yeah. and where. Yeah, yeah, but my, but in terms of where my church is concerned, that, what you call church, but the church is really the body. Yes. But in terms of you speaking at the temple, at I have the platform at the globe. So, you know, I am the pastor. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever so time the, I grace a stage. Okay, so there's no physical church uh, or temple. In, in any particular geographic location? In, no, in that Saint I am Jamaica. the pastor of. That you're the, the pastor of. No. That your ministry is worldwide. Yes. So m music is, uh, is still very much what is occupying most of the time. Yes. Right now. Yes. Is it? Yes, it is so. Uh, talk about that period between 2000, um, to, between 1997 and uh, say two years, three years ago, what did you do uh, with that time? What happened during well, that time? Well, sum, uh, sum that up for me, that period. Well, August 7th, 1997 mm -hmm. was when I got the rebirth. I remember quite clearly that you were the first person to interview me when I left the stage after yes. doing reggae, some fest dance and night, driving up the place, getting, up, getting about seven encores mm -hmm. and, and more. I remember you asked me then specifically if I was a Christian. Yes. And I told you yes, because that time the, understood, the understanding that I had, mm -hmm. it, it was quite different from what I now have. Mm -hmm. uh, um, because I've always been a person who prays to the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, before going on stage and after leaving stage, even in those times. When that trans transformation took place, I decided that I was, you know, through with music and my focus was, you know, pursuing academics. Right. So, you, yes, because you were not, you were upset from the music scene yeah, for a while. Yeah, and I went and you know got myself into the Word of God, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I mean studying the Word of God. I went to Bible school and all of that too, mm -hmm. you know, to get myself more grounded into the Word and, you know, and then started seeking the Lord what He wanted me to do. Did they trust you, the church? Did they trust you that you would, <laughs> with you would but, your community, <laughs> that you're just, with you but. weren't just es escaping from some ordeal in the secular world and now uh, no, some, seeking refuge it, it, yeah. under the church? Well, that would be the right place to seek refuge. And, <laughs> and I would advise anyone to, yes. <laughs> you know. But some people gave me two weeks, but they never told me which calendar year. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Well, we get two weeks. And it is from August 7th, 1997. Yes. To current date. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And so there were people who had the various different doubts. Some were play, praying for us to be saved. And, and when we got saved, they were saying, like, where am I do ya? You know, who them in at the church? What, what the whole point? Some people believe that we came to Christ because I came to Christ because, you know, oh, I make some money. I mean, you just said it in your introduction. Mm -hmm. And the 14 number ones that you made mention of, it was not over a collective career. It was just in one year. Yeah. I remember there are, four, there are 12 months in the year. Mm -hmm. So it means that I was at the top of my game, the king of the dance hall, and everything going. Great you guns. were blazing, Lieutenant yeah. Stitchy. Yeah. Great guns. From then till now, I was preparing. And then three years after, 2000, 
I started doing my, my I did my first recording, a, a song called, an album called uh, Real Power. And from there, from then on, we started doing different tours and, you know, taking as a gospel the, artist. As, as a gospel artist. Mm -hmm. And it, to me, it, to, be, to, be, to be so titled as a gospel artist is a plus because the gospel represents Jesus Christ. And to be identified with the Lord Jesus Christ to me is an honor. Mm -hmm. You know, so to be called a gospel artist is, is, is an honor to me. Mm -hmm. And then I started taking the word, you know, globally. And um, I remember that we went to um, the Montreux Jazz Festival. Mm -hmm. First gospel artist to be on that festival. You know, that's, that's a festival held in Switzerland. In Switzerland, yes. And, and we were the person who closed the event, the entire festival. Mm -hmm. You know, now that's an honor, you know, for that to happen. And for the level of presentation, you have to speak the language of the people. And that was your, the gospel you? That gospel me. Yes, was it straight gospel you? There? Straight. No, none of your seculars None. were used straight. in that? No, straight. Okay. Straight. Yeah, so answer the question for me about so what, what was the hardest thing to, that you had to, to do to give up, to shed from your life in that transition? Nothing was hard for me mm -hmm. because there was a desperation. There wasn't one thing stitching no. that stood out and said, boy, that no, you had feel like No, 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 I'm sure. Nothing never hard for me mm -hmm. because I remember at my mother's funeral service, Right, the pastor was preaching, Pastor Wayne Palmer at Glad Tidings Home Bible Church. And he said he was preaching a sermon about, you know, if you if you plant peas, it will germinate and it will grow. If you plant corn, it will mm -hmm. germinate and it will grow. If you die save, you'll rise save. If you die unsaved, you'll rise unsaved. And in the midst of my bereavement, I realized that, you know, I wasn't safe. And I understood the meaning quite clearly of germination. Okay. As, a, as a biology teacher, I know that something has to die and be buried before newness of life comes. So I took an introspective view in my life and said, what I needed to shed, what, what, what is it that needs to die for me to rise afresh? You know what I mean? You, you, you're having all this fame, this popularity, you're touring all over, you're having everything at your, at, your, at, your, at your arm. And, you know, there was my mother lying in a casket. And as much as we all love her, nobody stayed down by the, by the, by the cemetery with her. Everybody cried, but never, no one went in the hole. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody just left. And nobody. So that was a huge learning yeah, moment for you. Yeah, that we're going to have to give an account for the life that we have. And I remember my golden text. So it says, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and to lose his soul? You know? And that, I reflected on that. You know, you have the feeling, the popularity, the first, the first um, dance hall artist to be signed to Atlantic Records, the first dance hall artist to hit the Billboard charts. And the, uh, and the person who is responsible for taking dancehall music to Germany and to all of Europe. That was it, the it, first dancehall artist to make appearances in these markets. Yes, you know, and and and, and the Atlantic signing on all of that. Those yeah. were your secular accolades right. before you decided to walk away from it all. Right. So on, on top of those fourteen number ones that we spoke of earlier on, mm -hmm. and um, so but you've evolved. Stitchy on, on your musical mission, haven't you? Yes. Because you were gospel, all gospel, and you left your catalog, your dance hall catalog behind. Yes. But now, aren't you now picking a few of them, or if not all of them, and, it, it, and, and working them now? No, not, not on that platform. The platform. Not on the no, gospel. Not, not, no, not on the, let me use it, not in the, in the context in which you're asking the question. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason why I'm doing it, sometimes I have to be identified. I was an artist who, as you say, who, you, you, you list the era where I'm from. Mm -hmm. A lot of people hear these songs, they've never met the artist, you know? So I want, to see, I want people to know where I'm coming from. Okay. To where I am now and to where I'm going and to see the transformation that Jesus Christ had made, has made in my life. You know, that even the stitchy then is not to be compared with the stitchy now. The stitchy now is far better than the stitchy then. You know, and you have been, in, been to enough several stage show to see... The, so the, you the could e go. easily leave those behind? Easily, easily. But there's a motive why I use it. And that motive is to... Is to, to identify. The, to make the connection. Right, to make the connection. And, and perhaps to win attention. Mm -hmm. To get the attention of the yes, secular Yes, because, because you need to get the attention before you, before you can speak to them. If, if, no one is, if you're speaking and no one is paying attention, then who are you speaking with? Can we talk a little bit about dancehall? For you to sum up for me in a minute... The state, the, the way you see dance on right now, how, how do you comment on, on it? Well, I... As a foundation dance hall artist. Well, one of the things is that, you know, things have to change because there are metamorphoses that takes place mm -hmm. with everything in life. So 
you know, um, if, if that never took place, then I would not have been at the time when I was, yes. because there were others before me. So we expect the change to continue. But we also expect that the root be kept. And preserved. That, yeah, the preserved. legacy must be, be preserved. It must be preserved. Mm -hmm. And then we can grow and, and, and spiral and branch off and mushroom mm -hmm. and, and bear fruits from that. But when you have put aside the Uprooted root, your root. Yeah, uproot the root and trying to regenerate the wheel. Yes. You know, without having the knowledge of how the thing was formed in the first place, then it won't work to our disadvantage. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what is happening now. You know, there are too much sound alike. Everybody wants to sound like the other artists. And I remember, the, the, you know, that is why those of the artists who are in dance hall, Ninja Man can mash up a stage show any day because there's just one Ninja Man, mm -hmm. you know. Professor Nuts is the same thing. Papa San, same thing, you know what I mean? There must be an originality. Yes. Only 24 or 5 of you have made it to the upper chamber of dance hall. Okay. You're one of them, Stitchy. And I don't know if everybody knows this, but this is a fact. That of all the artists in over 30 years of dance hall, only 24 or 5 of you have made it to the upper, what we call the upper chamber. A lot okay. of people in the middle, in the middle order, and some of them who we are glorified, didn't actually make it to top tier. How does it feel to be ranked among those, and are you proud of that legacy? Well, it was endorsed by the Jamaica Reggae Industry Association um, two weeks ago. Uh, and the Jaira, uh, um, they gave me an iconic honorary, honor award. Mm. And they selected about 20 different individuals who have consistently um, contributed to the development of reggae music. And I want to make that distinction very clearly that dancehall is a tangent of reggae. Yes. Reggae is the umbrella mm -hmm. under which dancehall flows. Yes. So, you know, uh, that needs to be clearly understood because some people keep on, you know, setting it as if it's like there's a major disparity between the two. Mm -hmm. But actually, dancehall is a child of reggae. And I, I've, I've never seen where there is a dance hall award at the Grammy. Mm. It's a reggae award that dance hall artists will win. Mm. There's a certain freshness, Stitchy, when yeah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oozing from you in a performance. And I wonder to what extent are we missing something that we took for granted in the 90s? When we see a man like you on a stage now, we say, wow, damn. I think is, what, is, it, is it that we have regressed in the music? Or? In some eras we have. Because, because let me explain to you why. Um, if you notice the type of delivery that is given, some of the artists are, uh, we had the opportunity to ply our trade on the sound systems in the dance hall. When we had to write, I mean, really good lyrics as no-name artists to pull in people to pay their money to come in to see you. No, the situation is different, where people just go in a studio and they have their own, um, the little thing together, and them have them auto tune, and them come out sounding like chick monk cartoon, and 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 then they they hold on to that, and when it is time to deliver, if they are not given the exact rhythm that they record on, they can't deliver, and. If you see them on a stage to deliver, if they can sing on the rhythm, on key, then what they do, you just see them singing the song, but you're not seeing a performance. Mm. Even the younger producers no, need to be, as much as they're doing the, the newer artists, still work with some of the older veterans in the business who they can learn from and can pass on the things so the thing can grow. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And just so the thing can develop. You know, it is good to have new things, uh, and we have to embrace that but you still can't push aside the, the, the old. You still need to join both so that the whole thing can, can grow and be fruitful. Oh, oh, oh. And especially now, um, let me not finish it, especially where the lyrical content is, is concerned, we need to ensure that whatever it is that we're putting forward is, is, is building the moral fibers of the society. What's your family like, your own family, one that you made for yourself, your own family? Talk about your family. Well, I don't know if I've made a family for myself because, you know, 
being an ambassador of Christ, Christ governed my life. I operate as a citizen of the kingdom of heaven. So whatever it is that God placed in my responsibility is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Okay. Yeah? But God has blessed me, you know, with, with children and a wife, you know, and I am extremely grateful. Isn't that your family, sir? Yeah, that, is, that, that, that is my immediate. Kids? No kids, because I've, I've never believed in, in, in being involved with animals, never. <laughs> but if you're, if, you're, if you're speaking about children and your offspring, <laughs> then you can speak to me. <laughs> you understand? Okay, teacher. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, so can we yeah. ask you about your children? Oh, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man, you can. How oh, many of them? Yeah, God has blessed me two. Two? Yeah, two daughters. Okay, and a wife. Yes. And they're all good? Yeah, all Any good. of them in music? Any of the kids? Well, they have talents but in music, but they have not yet practiced it. It's, the season has come. You're and steering it is not, them away from it? No, it's not my responsibility to do so. My responsibility as a father and not as a sperm donor is to ensure mm -hmm. that their vision are made manifest, not my vision for them. Okay. That is my vision for them to see their vision be made manifest. All right, sir. And your music now is there are some new songs. Yes. You're going to be doing at least one of them for us today. Yeah, definitely. Well, we have I have a new, uh, uh, the latest song now that is burning up the whole place. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Letter to Dad. It's from an upcoming album um, that we we have a working title. We have not yet decided on the final name for the title, mm -hmm. but we're expecting it to be released during during summer of this year. Yeah. But it is sizzling art. What we're going to do then, Stitch, is to thank you right here. Yeah, but, but where the lyrics are concerned, mm -hmm. I must make mention of this, that it is supported that it has now spilled over into mm -hmm. a book where I've written my first book entitled The Power of Determination. Oh, there's a book yeah. coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has been released on the, first, on the 1st of January in the UK, so we're getting set to have The it. Power of? No, in, it, in Canada. The title? What's the title? The Power of Determination. Okay. That's and, my autobiography. And that's all. So yeah, why is it not... Promoted in Jamaica because we just we Jamaica. just we just did the physical release of it in Canada, uh -huh. and we're expecting to have it online. You know, but between now and April, we'll have it online and everything up and running because we can't be promoting um, uh, stuff and we had we, we don't have the product selling. So all the things that we did not mention in this interview will be in that book, and they, and it's now available in Canada and it's coming to Jamaica. Yeah. Um, very yeah. soon. All right. And we have spoken to a distribution company here, and they're going to be having that sorted out. Currently, we are dealing with some other stuff in, in, in some other Caribbean islands where they are, it's going to be a part of their school system. Mm -hmm. All right, Stitch. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave the stage here for a minute to give us that song. Letter to Dad. Letter to Dad. And later, you're going to perform for us in extra. Or yeah. It? Lyrics. All right. Never shot. Let's so. So here we go. What's my name? 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 My name is the Doctor to Chi. My mother, my brother, my sister, my family, they call me Sandy. And now which part me come from in a Spain town city? A bird right connection to the Almighty. So a piece of paper provide me with a pen. Me I feel right, me daddy piece of mail. Go again. I send no text, I send no email. The internet connection, then we fail. Go again, daddy. Please forgive my ignorance. But I'm trying not to understand. Uh, I know you're at the altar of confusion. But your son wants a quick response. Tell me, how come so much wicked people still are living and I do evil and still are destroy people life? Just no right, the rich are getting richer. What them rap is not enough for you. Draw so good poor people lie. Just no right. Say them love your father, yet them lose religion, call division, killing one another and a fight. Just no right. Who are them as the right? The children them go hungry with government, them are going to topple over tonight. Just no right. A piece of paper provide me with a pen. Me a fee write me daddy this a mail. Go again. Now send no text, now send no email. The internet connection them we fail. Go again. A piece of paper provide me with a pen. A fee send me daddy this a mail. Go again. Now send no text, now send no email. The internet connection them we fail. Go again. Hey. See this a reading a billina Man you this and never be lit in the major I let some women a report the other thing We go on a road we make the headline Pan all the news paper Hey, me quite comfortable pan the key ya See she a fit jack it down in other letter ya Man no longer love them brother Quick to kid you for a dollar ball A coke a piece of crack a sheet a rizla A wolly pa wolly pa thing change up And you send me down here Conscience we used to have the world that disappear Them no putting up on the pan life Man a kill like ice Murder you fi higher call they can no cure so a piece of paper provide me with a pen A fee write me daddy this a mail Go no walk Now send no text, now send no email The internet connection Go no walk 
I did a day, but provide me with a pen. My fist said, me daddy, this a mail. No, I did. Now send no text, now send no email. Show again, them 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 a piece of paper provide me with a pen. I feel right me that it is a nail. No again. Now send no text, now send no email. It's a net connection, then we fail. No again. Piece of paper provide me with a pen. I feel right me that it is a nail. No again. Now send no text, now send no email. The next connection, then we fail. No again. The next connection, then we fail. No again. The next connection, then we fail. No again. Tanet connection them we fail, no again. Tanet connection them we fail, no again. Tanet connection them we fail, no again. Ah! Oh. Bless it, love, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. So that's the new track. Yeah. That's the one you're pushing right now out there. This one is, is burning up the place all over. From France, New York, Miami, all over. And now Jamaica. And now Jamaica. All right. So Jamaica is behind on this. <laughs> That's the truth. That's the truth, okay? Yeah. Stitchy, thank you so much, sir, for coming through and talking to us. But you're not gone yet because you're coming back for extra. You're going to go extra, extra. later. All Read right? all about it. Yeah, yeah. Watch it. All right. So, <laughs> so, okay, Stitch. So that's our show for this week. Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us for On Stage Regular and inviting you to stay with us for On Stage Extra right here on CVM and elsewhere in the world on stagetv.com. Stay with us. Hey, hey, hey! Almighty God, yes, me a fill of you. Almighty God, me now go stop serve you. Almighty God, Stitchy, I go praise you. Almighty God, yes, me a fill thank you. Hey, for the food that me eat, and the clothes on the back, and the suit that I'm and wear. For the bread that me do, and the life, give me Almighty God, you care. When God, I'm a guy, and God, I'm a light, I'm a fit in the face. We get a giddy, 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 giddy,